Hi everybody, welcome to another weekly update here from Fig Tree Anglican Church. Well, we're still in lockdown, but uh, God's church continues to persevere and go ahead. I hope you've been able to join in with us on Fig Tree TV and watch your services online and participate as best you can at home. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who got in touch with us through the Connect at MyFAC or our text message service or contacted me personally. Uh, if you were watching last week, I brought you a message on divorce from Mark's Gospel. I've got to tell you, to bring a message of such pastoral significance and sensitivity to you down the uh, camera lens was not easy to do. Uh, I hated being separated from you as I brought you that kind of a message. But uh, thank you to those who shared feedback about uh, how, you, how it helped you. Uh, really, really helpful to me and my heart. Um, so thank you. Uh, I'm glad we were able to share that time together, even if it was in a suboptimal way. I've been loving this Mark by Request little series that we've been doing, and uh, you can look forward to another instalment this Sunday with Steve Abbott. He is back and bringing us the message. And uh, we now have all the requests we require to get to the end of the series. So uh, I look forward to bringing you the message the week after that. And I'll tell you more about that next week. Church is on always, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock services available every Sunday on Fig Tree TV. So join us. It's going to be great. Now, what happens after Mark by request? Well, we move to our World Missions Conference. Of course, we are in a lockdown season. So as it was last year, and it really was great last year, the World Missions Conference will be exclusively online. We'll tell you more about that in weeks to come, but uh, get ready, get set. Uh, August, we will be doing the World Missions Conference. So when you're done watching the Olympics, you know what to tune into. It'll be World Missions Conference here at Fitri. I do let, need to let you know that due to some of the COVID changes as well, the annual Grandparents Conference will no longer be a physical gathering. It will be an online event and there'll be more information coming through to you from the CEO of the Grandparents Conference, Ian Barnett, in weeks to come. So we'll share that right here on your weekly update. So uh, Grandparents Conference will still go ahead, but it will be an online event. Can I remind you as well that Anglicare still need our support and so if you would like to donate our non-perishable grocery items, you can do that. But please contact us at the church so that we can arrange a safe way for you to drop those off during this season. You can always use the MyFAC at, sorry, the Connect at MyFAC email address or the text number or simply just call the office and we'll be able to help you out. Right now, uh, that's all from me. I'm going to leave you with a message from Jenny, who's going to update you on Kids Adventure Camp. Hey, Fig Tree, Logan and Jenny here from Fig Tree Kids. Uh, we're here to share some sad news just about Adventurous Camp, so. Oh, yeah, I'm so disappointed to let you know that we have had to make the decision to cancel the 2021 Adventurous Kids Camp. It's really sad, but we're just not able to do it with the current government restrictions. But we are thinking of some other things for term four. What have we thought about, Logan? Yeah, Jenny, we've been thinking about here at Victory Kids, just another way we can try and run some sort of adventurous day for the kids, uh, maybe in term four, if government restrictions allow it. Obviously, we're waiting to hear uh, from the government what the restrictions will look like after these four weeks before we make any decisions. But keep an eye out for some news about that. We're going to try and run something uh, in term four. Okay, take care, guys. We're praying for you. And we're super pumped for Adventures Camp whenever we can have it in the future. Well, that's all for this week. So keep on keeping on. Uh, God is good all the time. And uh, let's remember that promise of Jesus. I am with you until the end of the age. Stay safe. See you on Sunday.